Shalom, Shalom, Israel. <clears throat> it's your brother Dagobah with a quick lesson. I want to give all praises, uh, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakadash. Yahweh is the Most High God, and Yahweh Shai is who the world anyly calls Jesus Christ. Double honors to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone who move the world through the Spirit, teaching His Word and believing His Word to the best of their ability. Lord will and most high continue to put in a spirit to endure. And a mighty shall alarm to the whole four legs scattered four corners of the earth. Teaching this word and believing this word to the best of their ability. Lord will and most high continue to put in a spirit to endure. Shalom to the wise and the single sisters. That's believers of this word. Lord will and the most high continue to put in your spirit to pursue to be a loving and silent virtuous wife. And Lord will and the most high have mercy on the other brothers and sisters that's not in the faith. You know. Famine of the word is is gonna come, man. The Lord is gonna take the men of the law off these highways and byways. He been showing us mercy every day. If them prophets is still teaching, the Lord been showing mercy. Beautiful day, a beautiful day. You know, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Facebook Messenger was shut down. <laughs> But it's all, all praise to the Most High. Just like the Lord shut Ezekiel mouth in Zechariah mouth. This is Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 25 to 27. It says, But thou, O son of man, behold, they shall put bands upon thee, and shall bid thee with them, and thou shalt not go out among them, and I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth. That thou shalt be dumb and shalt not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. But when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh, power, he that heareth, let him hear, and he that forbeareth, let him forbear, for they are a rebellious house. Flip this, is, flip this around, the Lord is calling us. You know, to cry to the children of Israel, man, so that they can know they sin. But it's going uh, it's going to happen when the Lord is going to remove us from from teaching. Right. This is uh, second Ezra chapter one, verse five. Go thy way and show my people their sinful deeds and their children, their wickedness, which they have done against me, that they may tell their children's children. You know, and it's just like Isaiah 58 and 1. We have to cry aloud and teach our brothers and sisters their sins. That's why you go back into the history to understand why. Why everything is happening the way that it is, is because we fucked up. And this is a, a beautiful moment in history when the Lord is going to take the word out of the earth, man. You know, you would have to be somebody that was already uh, devouring. Uh, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And if he wasn't, you shit out of luck. You know, this is Luke chapter 1. I'm going to start at verse 61. It says, And they said unto her, There is none of thy kindred that is called by, the, by this name. And they make signs to his father, and how he would have him called. And he asked for a writing table and wrote, saying, His name is John. And they marveled all, and his mouth was open immediately. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably I'm gonna go back because I want the point where his mouth actually where the Lord actually shut his mouth. Let me see. Okay, this is uh, Luke chapter 1, starting at verse 18. It says, Zechariah said unto the angel, Whereby shall I know this? For I am an old man and my wife well stricken in years, because they couldn't believe, just like Abraham and Sarai, believing in the age that they is, that the Lord will uh, uh, put it um, in the bowels of the husband to bring forth a child. Verse 19, And the angel answered and said unto him, I am Gabriel. 
that stand in the presence of the Most High. For I am sent to speak unto thee and to show thee these glad tidings. And behold, thou shalt be dumb and not able to speak until the day that these things shall be performed. Because thou believest not my words, which shall be fulfilled in their season. Right? And even more. So he didn't believe in the word, so his mouth was shut. The Lord is going to shut our mouth because you niggas didn't believe. And this was only for the elect's sake, man. Right? And you see all the way from, from verse 18. Wait, let me let me read verse 22 before I say something. It says, and when he came out, he could not speak unto them. Let's start at verse 21. It says, and the people waited for Zacharias and marveled that he tarried so long in the temple. And when he came out, he could not speak to them. And they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple. For he uh, beckoned unto them and remained speechless. Right? They, they thought <clears throat> he had seen a vision. They didn't, they didn't even understand. But he couldn't even say nothing. You know, the Lord took it from him. Just because he couldn't, he didn't, he didn't believe that he'll bring forth a child. And then when we go to verse 64, but reading all the way from 18 down, eventually he was able, the Lord opened up his mouth immediately and his tongue was loose and he spake and he praised the most high, you know, because now it came to pass. This is Ezekiel chapter 33. You should read ver, uh, verse 33 to 30, but I'm going to just read verse 33. This is Ezekiel chapter 30 verse, Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 33 and it reads, and when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been amongst them, right? Just even Zechariah, he must have right there and then, he knew, even though he believed in the Lord, he knew that the Lord's word was true. They don't come back. Uh, unavoid. So right there and then, this shows that the Lord um, will close close the men of the Lord mouth for the unbelievers. And Zechariah was an unbeliever at that time. I mean, that that he would bring forth a child, but he kept the laws of the Most High. So of course he believed in the Lord. He just didn't believe that he would bring forth a child. So because he didn't believe, the Lord struck him, and he couldn't even speak. So imagine how the Lord is going to go in, uh, to the elect this time, you know, and then that brings out Revelations, the seventh chapter. Verse one, and it says, and after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea nor any tree and i saw another angel ascending from the east having the seal of the living god and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea saying hurt not the earth neither the sea nor the trees till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads right which let's go to ezekiel the ninth chapter Right. And this is why, you know, soon as uh, the Lord take us off the street through the spirit, the elect been sealed. This is Ezekiel chapter nine. And we go reverse. We'll reverse four. It says, and Yahweh said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. It set a mark upon the forehead of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. When you go into the blue letter, you understand that this mark is not even the same mark as Revelation the thirteenth. You know, it's a um, it's a uh, an exemption mark. You know, a mark uh, exemption from judgment. You know, in the elect, if you really. If you, if you really desire or, you know, you really desire the kingdom, you really desire uh, peace, you, you really desire to, to be one with your how about shim you shy, you're going to want this this spiritual mark in Ezekiel 9 and 4, you know? And guess what? The men of the Lord have been crying. We've been mourning. 
you know. Verse 5, it says, And to the others, he said, In my hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Right? So anybody else that's not, that don't got that spiritual mark, you know, that mark of exemption, they're going to be destroyed. That goes into the two-thirds and the rest of the dumb nations that's going to be in America still. It says, Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark in being at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men, which were before the house. Right. So the Lord ain't sparing none. Old and young. If you don't got that mark of exemption, you are finished. You know, and this is uh, and this is all because the Lord is speaking through his prophets. Just like what the one elder said, the, the, the prophets been turning this world upside down. Through the Rakakwadash, man, the spirit just been revealing and, and, and allowing brothers to grow, you know. Great millstone been feeding every day. And, you know, that spirit moved. You know, the brother I, I used to labor with and Yarmayan, you know, they were saying, um, do uh, we need to do videos, you know, make a YouTube, but we need to sing the same song. And the Lord was playing chess with us and he moved us around. So brothers are singing the same song because it won't make sense. Why are we walking in this and we not singing the same song? You know, just like Paul has said, um, I believe it's in Corinthians, Second Corinthians, where he said, um, uh, uh, they preach, I preach, but we, we're, we're teaching the same message, you know? And we want to be out here teaching that we want to be a team. We want to make sure that the, the, the Rakakwadash is flowing in one motion and in truth. And this is why uh, what we see in the news, a video I was just watching, he said uh, uh, they want Hebrew Israelites off their American street corners. You know, that's a total fact. And every day is something new. And it was it was beautiful to be at work and everybody bugging out because they social media not working. But then some people, oh, I'm about to go get lit. And right now in Buffalo is warm as hell when it's supposed to be cold and snowing. Something is about to happen. And that's why you need to hold on to to this light, you know, this light, this, 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 this word, this knowledge, wisdom, my understanding, because wisdom is going to be the stability of of that time. man. And if you're not wounded on wisdom, you're ass out, you know, you're ass out. Um. But I'm, I'm not going to uh, make this too long. Lobo, and this is edifying. It's straight to the point. Amos chapter 8 verse 11 is going to happen. Family word is going to happen. You know, it was multiple times in the time of Samuel. Even when you go to 2 Chronicles 15 and 3, it was times where the uh, we didn't have righteous priests that was actually teaching the word of truth. You know, we had a lot of false teachers. You know, you even go into... Uh, I believe First Kings, the 18th chapter, you see that we had 400 uh, Baal teachers, you know, that they was teaching of a false God, you know. So at the end of the day, we didn't have true teachers. And then out of nowhere in the distance of time, then the Lord would send us one. Look at Samuel. When he started speaking the word, people was amazed and marveled because they didn't hear the word openly in a long time, you know. And now... You know, we in this time and the word is growing forevermore. All praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai for this ministry. And Lord willing, Lord willing, the most high is dealing with you and he enable you and bring you in this ministry. And if not, Shalom.